I memorized 1000 decimals of pi in one day, and you can do that too. Here's how. This is the emergency broadcast system. This is not a test. <laughs> Before I started memorizing the decimals, I had to do some preparations. First step was to create a system for converting numbers into letters. And there are two well-known ways to do that. There's the major system, which is a phonetic, pho pho phonetic system. <clears throat> so numbers are basically converted into sounds. For instance, one is T and D sounds, three is M sounds, seven is K, hard C, Q, Q hard G, eight is Okay, yeah. As you might guess, I found this system a bit complicated. So instead, I used the Dominic system, which is a mnemonic, mnemonic system. It's super simple. Each number is simply represented by the corresponding letter in the alphabet. So 1 is A, 2 is B, and so on. The only exceptions are 6, which is S, because 6, 6, and 9 is N, because of 9. Then, I had to convert those letters into words. And for this, I used the PAO system. First, I listed numbers from 0 to 99. Then, I converted each number into letters using the Dominic system. I then came up with a person for each of these letter pairs, so that the initials of the person match the letters. For instance, AE represented Albert Einstein. And finally, when I had 100 persons listed, I associated an action and an object for each of these persons or characters. All of this might sound quite complicated, and I think it is, and you might be confused, and I was too, and then it was time to start memorizing some digits. What is it? 10 a.m. approximately. 3.14. Oh. So how many digits is that? Four times 18, it's uh, uh, uh. 72. 72 per page is gonna take a lot of pages. This is gonna take the whole day. <sighs> I'm not even halfway through six ones. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Yeah. It's done. Uh, it's already 10 past 11. So it took me a bit over an hour to write down all the decimals. After I had copied all the digits on paper, which took way too long, I had to start converting the numbers into images, and I used the POA table for that. Let me give you an example. Let's take the first six digits of pi. 141592. Using the Dominic system, this would translate into A, D, A, E, and B. Now, we take the person from the first letter pair, the action from the second letter pair, and the object from the last letter pair. A, D translates into Albus Dumbledore, so that's the person. A, E translates to Albert Einstein, and the activity I associated with it was inventing. And B translates into Napoleon Bonaparte, and the object I associated with it was the island of Elba. So, we get Albus Dumbledore inventing the island of Elba. So, with that logic, let's convert all these numbers into images. So that's one. Where's paper two? This might take the rest of the day. Ooh! It's Albus Dumbledore. Dumbledore. Right? Seven is... is 86. 86. HS. What is that? 26 is. Albus Dumbledore having sex with a toddler. Yeah. H4. Done. Uh, Swording in reactor water. Yes. That was the first number I remembered without looking at my, at my table. Victory. And I'm gonna need some more coffee. Two five, two five, two five, two five, two five. I feel like Alan Turing decoding German messages. Ooh. Last two digits. What is Alfred Noble doing? Alfred Noble is <laughs> to the next step.
Okay, that's that's a lot of numbers. In fact, that's something like 165 persons as numbers on that wall. And most of them are ridiculous. Look at this. Nicolas Cage lifting a stock. Shaquille O'Neal filtering skateboard. Well, at least I should be able to remember these. So next, I'm gonna create some memory cards and just try to memorize all of this. So I'm gonna write the number on the other side and the, the image on the other side. So if I say Albus Dumbledore inventing the island of Elba, I should be able to say 141592. And oh yeah, it's, it's already 6 p.m. So I'm in a bit of a rush. Seven, eight, three, four, five, Three, six, one, two, three, four, two, eight, seven, six, zero. Boom! I'm done. Right. This is perhaps the coolest thing ever. Let's. I'll, I'll demonstrate. Let's pick up a, a card. Armin von Buren knocking legal document. Armin, Armin von Buren is A B as one two knocking is knocking an arrow green arrow which is G A which is uh, um, seven uh, 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 one and then legal document is Dwight Eisenhower so that's D E which is four five. Did I say one two seven one four five? I hope so. At this point, I bet I can convert any of these images into numbers. So we can move on to the next step, which is the memory palace. Okay. So, the memory palace, or the method of Lucky, is a memory technique for memorizing a large number of things. This technique is based on visualization and the fact that we're extremely good at remembering places we know. First, you choose your memory palace, which can be any environment you're familiar with, for example your home. Second, you create a journey through that palace, a path that you can go along in your mind. Third, you place images on that path. In this case, as we explained, each image represents a number. Fourth, when you need to recall the numbers, you simply go along the path in your memory palace and convert the images into numbers. Simple, right? Thank you, future me. So my memory palace is gonna be my home and its surroundings. So let's start placing some stuff. Doctor Strange will be talking the Statue of Liberty right there. Oh look, it's Chuck Norris staring at some commercial light bulbs. Oh look what we have here. Severus Snape transforming into a skateboard. And here we have Albus Dumbledore having sex with a toddler. What? No, we don't wanna see that. Okay, all the locations have now been set. I've gone around the house once. Now let's try how many of the images I can remember without any practice, just going around once. All right, so there's Albus Dumbledore uh, inventing the island of Elba. Then there's a Swedish person uh, sitting in the middle of the island of Elba. Okay, can I go? There's someone, yeah, there's someone choking on a cigar. I mean, that was, I think that was something like the first 100 digit, digits, digits of pi, just from the first round. That's freakishly good. I would never have guessed that it works this well. This is, this is insane. So, let's keep going. There's uh, Agent 99 choking on a large cigar. Then there's Oswald Cobble, Cobblebot drifting in black ink. And oh, Charles Darwin. 50 minutes down, I can already recall four papers, which is around 280 di digits. Then there's Steve Jobs flipping Hellfire, as he usually does. Of course, there's uh, Dumbledore having sex with that toddler. But then there's also... The pace is incredible. So the pace is this. I take a paper. I go around the locations once, and then I remember the paper. It's like... Five to ten minutes per paper, which is five to ten minutes per 75 di digits of pi. What? There's uh, George Bush swearing as Hulk. There's a uh, Hulk. There's Hulk. There's Dwight Eisenhower. There's David Dumbledore. There's Master Bay. There's Fatty Boomba. There's Dwight Eisenhower. There's Ford. There's Messi. It's it's uh, 25 to midnight. I think I got it. I think I can recall a thousand decimals of pi. And now I'm gonna fail with the first decimals. So. Clint Eastwood spinning. Or is, is spinning somewhere else? Oh, this is hard. I'm just gonna boost through this. This is gonna take so long. Fatty Blumbach, Ali G. This hurts my brain. 
Uh, I'm losing my mind here. I'm losing my mind. We're almost there. Fortune. Eisenhower. Almost there. The final line. Eight. Nine. It's done. It's done. It's done. It did take me an hour and a half to fill in that paper. But it was worth it. Let's check the errors. One, four, one, five, nine, two. First six digits are correct. There's uh, one mistake. Oh, it's, it's not even a mistake. Or it is a mistake, but I made the mistake here. That is wrong. Oh my God. <laughs> one, nine, eight, nine. <laughs> I mean, a few mistakes, but most of them were because I converted them wrong at the beginning. I can't, I can't, I can't understand this. How did this come from here? I... That right there is why I do this. It's the feeling of euphoria you get when you learn something new. It's the feeling of accomplishment you get when you go past your previous limits. It's the feeling of amazement when you do something you previously thought impossible. It's the... <coughs> Oh, whatever. Oh, <coughs> mm, sorry for that. But that is really what The Unlazy Way is about. It's about finding your physical, mental, and emotional limits, going beyond those limits, and having fun while doing it. And if you're into that sort of stuff, uh, consider um, subscribing and um, ring the bell and uh, comment below, you know. Uh, yeah, and then uh, send me an email uh, at uh, johnny uh, at uh, unlazyway.com and uh, send me some mail uh, at... Uh, no, I'm not going to share my post address. What, what are you doing? Just end the goddamn video. God damn it! Oh, and uh, if you want to try it yourself, uh, you can use my POA table to create your own POA table. There's a link below. I hope that helps. Yeah.